Hello there. I'm June Ransom, Licensed Immigration Advisor with Woburn International. Thank you for joining me with my fourth edition of How Will New Zealand Move Forward and the Impact. And it's about what is happening with immigration as our government manages the pathway through the various COVID-19 levels, but also getting our economy going. Yes, we are in level three and anticipate moving to level two next Thursday. And under level three, some of the businesses have started returning to work under strict health department requirements. And many other businesses are getting prepared for moving into level two. Now this week has been a big week with our government releasing an immigration amendment bill which covers temporary changes to both resident and temporary visas. And this is to enable the pressure to come off the immigration system, a pause button. Now this pressure started before COVID-19, as immigration were in fact overwhelmed in having to manage the huge number of applications in their system for processing. So they were already encountering the processing issues before pandemic. So of the approximately 200,000 work visa holders, and they relate to something like 50,000 New Zealand businesses, there's quite a lot of stake here for moving forward for our future. Now, whilst verbally stated by officials that this new bill is focusing on not disadvantaging migrants, on reviewing it, concerns exist that careful wording for the bill was needed in order that new powers proposed were not being misused to the detriment of migrants and employer needs and that it could be more clearly interpreted. Now, the amendments to this Immigration Act will come into force on the 15th of May 2020. And this is concerning that a vital piece of legislation can be rushed through when it's going to impact on the lives of so many. Now, so many of you who hold temporary visas are unable to come back to New Zealand due to our border closures. And whilst we're told that exceptions to the criteria can be requested, but this isn't straightforward. There's a lot of red tape to get through and to date a 1% success rate. Now we want this to change and steps are being taken to help here. But my advice is please don't try it on your own. You need help. Now we know that Immigration New Zealand has to be careful in how the new policies are adapted. As this, at this stage, we do not know enough about what this country needs towards our economic recovery. So a very focused program needs establishing that will enable the right people to come into New Zealand to work on resourcing our many projects and within the various industries. And as I said before, we are going to be needing skilled people. We haven't got the skills here. And these skilled people will be needing to go through and help upskill many of our unemployed. So do be thinking ahead. If you are keen to come into this country, start doing your homework now, start exploring. Now the government is working towards its economic recovery needs. And I firmly believe that they need to have a think tank and they need to be looking at establishing the ideal population for the country in two yearly intervals. Now this has been discussed in various quarters throughout New Zealand. And we know that successive governments have avoided this topic as, they, as their thinking always reverts back to political issues to win elections. But I think the time has come when sufficient pressure will be put on them that they must revisit this. So until next week, keep safe and healthy and thank you for listening. Bye for now.